If your dog or cat suffers from reoccurrent ear infections, it's never only the yeast or bacteria. Here I can show you what bacteria look like in the microscope. Okay, then I'm going to show you what it looks like when we have bacteria and yeast infection. So in reoccurring otitis externa, meaning the outer ear infections, there's always an underlying cause. It can be the anatomy of the ear, for example, very squishy ears, very long ears that don't um, have good ventilation or quite commonly atopic dermatitis, a chronic skin disease that is also heritable. But there might be also a small possibility of adverse food reactions or food allergies. So you might think of that and maybe do an elimination trial. Please follow us to find out more about elimination trials.